In this video we're going to be learning about the Windows 365 dashboard. The easiest way to get to your 365 dashboard is to go to the district's website, scroll down the page, and click on the 365 button. If you've logged in at school into your account on the school's computer, it will probably go immediately to your dashboard. But if you're at home in another location, you may have to enter your username. And your the username that you're going to use is your username at wdbqschools.org. Don't forget that at wdbqschools.org. Then enter your password and click sign in. It doesn't matter whether you choose yes or no. Now you've arrived at your Windows 365 dashboard. In here you're going to see a lot of the different apps that you're going to want to be using. Outlook is your email account. Use Outlook for your emails. OneDrive. Think of OneDrive as an external hard drive where you can store your files, your resources. You can store just about anything in OneDrive. We have Microsoft Word for your text editing. We have Excel for spreadsheets. We have PowerPoint for presentations. OneNote. Some of your teachers may use OneNote to be able to share classroom content. SharePoint is another location you can store files. However, SharePoint is designed so that you can share documents with other people who have a 365 account. Microsoft Teams is a super, super useful collaboration tool. When you use Teams, you're able to have video meetings, you're able to uh, instant message, you're able to chat with people. Uh, Teams has all kinds of functions that we're going to be using during the school year. So get used to Teams and install that on your computer if you can. Sway is another presentation tool. Forms is where you can create surveys, quizzes, uh, you could try to gather information from other people who have 365 accounts and even if they don't there's settings that you can get feedback from outside sources also. Now another valuable tool inside your dashboard is the arrow that says all apps. When you click on all apps you can see extra apps that you have in your 365 dashboard. One that's really good for you that you will want to become really really familiar with being able to access is if you scroll down the page and then you will see in here the one that says it's learning. If you click this it will automatically take you into your it's learning account. You don't have to enter your username or password once you get into all of this. Now always remember the first time you might have to do that. After you'll probably be okay because you've already logged into your, your 365 account so it'll be able to take you into there. And there are other apps that are in your account also. The 365 dashboard is super super useful for being able to quickly open the different apps that you have that will help you with your whole entire learning process. Go ahead and experiment. And that's the Windows 365 dashboard.